It is the third and final round of the 2023 Women's Golf Championships from Papago Golf Club in Phoenix, Arizona. A Pac-12 team title and individual title on the line today. Another beautiful day. 81 degrees with winds at 10 miles per hour and humidity at 11%. Rose Zhang, the world's number one amateur, leading by four shots. And it's going to be hard to chase her down. As A.J. McCord tells us, Rose Zhang is on fire. Breaking records is nothing new for Stanford's Rose Zhang. This week marks her 136th consecutive week as the world's number one women's amateur. She hit the links here in Tempe, looking to break a few more records. She posted a five under in round one, a four under in round two, and if she matches what she did yesterday, today, she has a chance to set a new record 26 years in the making of the lowest posted score at a Pac-12 championship, and in the process, help her team climb the leaderboard. Stanford, the number one team of the nation, but work to do. Arizona and USC both tied for first place, entering the third and final round. And that record Zhang is chasing would be 12 under par. We pick it up on the seventh hole, second shot for Zhang. This is a par four, 378 yards. Zhang has parred this hole each of the first two days, but look at that shot. A great birdie opportunity. For the sophomore, Zhang with her third birdie on the front. Two bogeys on the card as well. And so that gets her to 10 under. Now here's Arizona's Carolina Melgrati for par. Melgrati had a tough finish Tuesday, bogeyed two of the last three holes and taps in for bogey on six. And she's one over on the front. Now to Zhang. On nine, third shot. This is a par five, 512 yards, and she nearly chips it in. Now the birdie try. Zhang has just annihilated the par fives in this event, and another birdie, and that is birdie number four on the front for Rose Zhang. Now number 10, this is her second shot. Another par five, this one playing at 525 yards. You just saw the card. Zhang birdied both of the par fives on the front nine. And now this is her third shot on 10. And another perfect approach. And Zhang will just be able to tap in for birdie. Five birdies in the first 10 holes for Rose Zhang. Here's ASU's Beth Coulter making a push. The freshman from Ireland. Started the day in 13th, but that's a birdie on number 16. And she's playing very well. Gets her to four under for the tournament. That's where... Catherine Park of USC is until she makes this birdie her first of the front nine and USC playing well so Coulter and Park in a battle for second place and this is number 18 for Coulter a chance at solo second this is her second shot and that puts her in great position on the par four and then the birdie so Coulter, three birdies on the front and finishes off with two of the last three holes. A birdie on the card and an embrace after the freshman's fantastic Pac-12 championship debut. Rose Zhang, third shot. This is on 15, a 520-yard par five. And this is going to roll back a little bit. This has been a birdie hole on days one and two for Zhang. Zhang had five birdies in the first round, six birdies in the second. And here in round three, it's seven birdies for the leader. Three holes to play for Zhang. Sitting on that 12 under par. 
13 under. She needs a birdie to get there and set the Pac-12 championship record. Will this ball hang on to the fairway? We'll see where does she find it. And that's in good shape. And this will come down the hill as well for Zhang. She has made some long birdies over the course of the three days to get to 13 under and set a championship record. This individual title well in hand. And Zhang will have that for par. About to become the second Stanford Cardinal in the last three years to win the individual championship. Zhang will take a moment. To tie the Pac-12 championship record at 12 under. And she does it. And Rose Zhang backs up the individual national championship last year with an individual Pac-12 title. The third Stanford Cardinal to ever win it all. A seven-stroke margin, the largest in Pac-12 history. Amari Avery for birdie on 18. USC playing well, and USC in part because of the strong play of Avery with a hefty lead, they're gonna be the team champs. Look at the strong finish from Avery, back-to-back -back birdies. And the only bit of drama left now, can Catherine Park make this birdie putt for solo second? Needs it to move ahead of Coulter. And leaves that for par. So now, Catherine Park needs this to tie for second place. And it just won't go down. But don't let that overshadow what was a great tournament for Park, who's going to tie her teammate Avery for third place, along with Malia Nam, three Trojans in the top ten, and USC for the third time in the last four years, the Pac-12 team champs. Justin Silverstein and his squad bring the eighth Pac-12 title home for the Trojans. USC with that T3 finish from Park and Avery. Rose Zhang wins it all by seven strokes. USC wins by seven strokes as well over the defending Pac-12 champs Oregon and the defending national champs Stanford. Zhang and Stanford hope to be back in Scottsdale in a month to defend their national titles at Greyhawk Golf Club.